Okay, so thank you for attending today's webinar. Uh, today's webinar topic is the Tista Therapeutics Ecosystem Deep Dive Analysis. So basically, uh, I have been this topic for nine months, means very intensive involvement in this analysis. And, and this is a finally, I, I got a, some good result. So this is the starting time, actually, that I disclose the, what I have done and uh, what I have got up to now. Okay, so I will share screen first. And let me see, check that. Okay. Sure. Okay, so I assume that you can see my slide. So um, today's topic is actually based on that I worked recently. Actually, the, it took several months to get this yellow book. Actually, I, I named it yellow book because of the maybe uh, some of you maybe remember in, in the old time, we have a telephone yellow book. So if you want to find out something, then this yellow book provide everything. So I named it. And basically, uh, I analyze through the I I search over maybe more than like a 300 candidate. And then I just select based on the information disclose up to in the second quarter of the year 2024 that uh, 198 as of today in startups and then I start to analyze and based on their business profile, product, technology and innovation, including patents and investment and fundraising and key leadership executives. So I, I also provide a link to LinkedIn profile and revenue and market clinical priors and certification, for example, like FDA or DIGA in Germany and many other countries and reimbursement. So I'll, I will back to this content later because uh, this is, uh, is about uh, 250 page long in intensive analysis result. So it has everything about DTX startups. So I will back to this content later. But basically, uh, my motivation is to, I really want to understand this DTX in a, in a e ecosystem wise, what the current status and then what have done and what will the future direction. So this will be the fundamental reference that I have used for my analysis. So it will be updated. So it is just started. So, so I fully integrate what I have done for several months for starting this topic. And then this is the final version, but actually it is starting. Because I'm from now I'm going to update content and then including more companies. And unfortunately, because I uh, for this work and for this webinar, I identify who are the key readers in these startups. So I recognize them in the website and particularly in LinkedIn. I connect, I try to connect them and then try to, to show this for each company and then try to get the feedback. <laughs> But unfortunately, only few actually up to now I got a uh, feedback. Uh, so it depending on the starters 
like a characteristic, whether it's a big or small, because this is uh, the stutter means that, uh, for example, I'm going to show in, in radar about the investment. Actually, the, this uh, startup actually represent all very early states, like less than one year in the like uh, angel for it as as for the like uh, terminology of fundraising in the past way that all very early states like a POC to like a deeper IPO, like uh, for example, to so all the states by the pathway is a POC, MVP, go to market and and clinical trials and certification and reimbursement and and actually get a little bit revenue from the client, something like that, or stage. And from the like a prospect of the fundraising, free the angel, free seed, seed, series A, B, C. I, I've seen up to E, I found some one company or two company actually the up to day raise up to C is E. So so this is this actually the have a spectrum of the whole the stage of the startup in DTX space uh priced in this yellow book. So this is a really, really good reference about what is the ecosystem is going on. And 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 then also like uh, to there are because there are only few actually went IPO already. So I didn't include that one, but there are there are as far as I know that uh is a there's only few means peer therapeutics and and actually and better therapeutics and uh what others there are there are two more like uh, uh I don't remember the name but uh, there are two more that I I know about it but anyway because uh, so so I do I did not include in that but actually the, I I did in when when introduced some product and patterns and whole ecosystem so I cover from the early stage to the after post I appear in my analysis. Okay, so uh, this is one thing that uh, what I did was like uh, what actually the business model. So usually DTX business model can be catalyzed by by different ways, but in this case, actually the is a business focused by health condition because uh, DTX means that the uh, they want to have an intervention and then therapy and treatment for some specific, uh, like men, specific uh, human uh, health condition. So uh, I just categorize them as uh, some of the that categorization. So for example, some mental health and chronic conditions and cognitive health and pain and developmental disorders and many things that you can see here that I did. And then you, you see that uh, the majority of the, the business focus is mental health space and chronic condition like diabetes and cognitive health like Alzheimer's and and pain and development disorders. So I, I explain in next one about the, the some example, because this is just some examples. I mean, it's not complete, but I provide a better represent what I mean by the mental health. So kind of like a depression, bipolar disorders, anxiety, PTSD, phobias, panic, spiritual, uh, stereotype fear, something like that. But uh, there may be more. And then chronic conditions, usually diabetes, hypertension, and cardiovascular conditions. And cognitive health, usually there, there are many, but uh, dementia, usually Alzheimer and MCI and Parkinson's and other, other like disease or disorders can be included. And pain is uh, migraines and chronic pains or others. And developmental disorders, and autism, and ADHD, or something like that. So it, here is a uh, many things that I provide here. So the this 
198 startup have a some way to involve. So some big company have a multiple, the, they spend over the multiple, the has conditions, and some company actually focus on only one. So it's a spectrum of the their involvement is somewhat broader. So um based on my analysis actually the I I just summarized that what the state of the uh, product development, especially that I'm interested in that I just summarized all the certified products. Certified the product product means at least through the past way they done a lot of clinical trials and pass over some regulation and then approved by the government authorities. So, so I categorize them and I, 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 I found more than 90, the, the easiest thing. There may be more because I cannot, I cannot say that I've been perfect to cover everything, but this will be the good number that you can see that what the current status so uh uh particularly uh interesting is the south korea uh, there are there were two cases in japan there were two cases in some other countries like uk and other other european country and mostly in in germany through the diga and fd and so target condition and product is uh, diverse. I'm, I'm going to show you summarize for this part later. But another interesting point is the the reinvestment. So uh, particularly is is depending on the the healthcare policy of the specific country and and their healthcare system. So for example, in Germany. They are very public, and but through the DIGA process, actually, that they are permanently register, and then be covered by the fully covered by the German healthcare reimbursement system. But uh, the situation is somewhat different in the United States, so uh, I only find only few, and then and usually through the like uh, I. As far as I understand, there are no specific reimbursement code for this purely like a software type app DTX. So usually the oldest one actually that I, I found about this five is uh uh they throw the some combination of the hardware. So they're they acquire this reimbursement, it's not purely in software. But in combination of something, right? Usually they include it in the system. So this is the one I have it. And so I categorize and uh, what what's the product it looks like. So actually the uh product wise, if you if you need some clearance, they they need to specify the very clearly so specific target condition, right? So so it, it cannot be like just say like a mental health. It should be very specific about the depression, anxiety, or something like that. So I, I found that is very diverse targeting. And I just categorize them as uh, the like a uh, big category. So so each one has a uh, one one component of the mental health. So, so most of the here is a mental health and chronic health. So you can imagine, right? Because the, the most of the startups uh also have uh, this kind of landscape. So you can you can expect uh, whatever the landscape of this one. And another aspect that I I was interested in is to fundraising. And so I I look at the the older the available. Like a uh, source disclose, and then and then to find out the the total amount of the fundraising, but but this number is not complete because uh, for example some company through the like pre sale to up to C Z and then they they did not disclose like all the states of the one some some company actually the luckily provide all states and some company actually that provide 
just one number total or something like that. So, but this is just a uh, uh, sum up the represent for this this kind of like uh, the the situation. So I found that uh among one hundred ninety eight, I found that some they specify their funding source. So uh so so this total about six point nine five billion dollar in US. So big number, right? So so um choose investment already done in this space. So it's time to to think about whether this investment was uh, like uh, was a very the best option to choose to their portfolio company or the startup actually utilize this money for effectively and efficiently to to get their risk the the goal right so um so i'm what i done was actually that i'm i i'm really interested in the more deeper level that uh I'm not sure whether I can get an insight because I'm still I'm still analyzed because uh, I spend a lot of time just accumulating data and then verify them. So I, I'm still working on, but I have done basics. So I'm I'm getting going to the default level in the next stage. That um I want to get an insight about the, what would the like uh, some criteria that choose by the investors, and then which area actually they are interested in. And then for each stage of the funding, right, from the angel to precede, who is a key players in, in investment, and then whatever the good strategy to get the investment. So this is the topic actually I'm still working on that. But basic uh, understanding I've done, and then this is the one I have it, I'm interested in, in this space for search, so I'm going to be have a maybe if possible maybe another webinar. And but any, anyway, because I'm going to disclose my understanding of the insight. So uh, based on that, actually, the, I have another uh, output is uh, the investment investors uh, directly. So I I look at the who are the investor, particularly they invest in DTX, and then I I try to find out their their profile their website and then additionally I'm going to uh add to the like uh, who are the key person in their in this uh, investors and then what kind of strategy we can have for based on this uh information. So this will be also upgraded. Um and then another thing is to I'm interested in what really innovation is going on because uh, because pattern is a good indicator of the, the innovation, right? So uh, basically that yellow book uh, contains the older, the startups, the pattern application, if available. Because uh, uh, I, I found that uh, not all startups actually the, uh, file their pattern applications, but, uh, but have create their file pattern. Some company have a large pattern portfolio and now and then and then some company actually supporting their like uh, uh key product and then some kind of the flagship and some company actually the additional innovation but not yet commercial line. So this is the additional uh you can get an additional insight about the, what is going on just just not looking at the like the commercialized product. But actually, the the potential that what can be commercialized further, and what it be the like uh, still in the basic stage. For example, uh, in addition to the startups, I I found that uh there are several like a uh, traditional pharmaceuticals, and also the medical device company, and and research institution and and research. Academic Research Institute like University. They also file patents. So this includes everything. So include every stakeholders in DTX, not just the startup, but basically startup is the majority. So I what I did was actually the first catalogize them as a, as a, some that I, I done like uh, 
the the what kind of invention they are targeting, like whether it's an Alzheimer disease and whether it's a Parkinson disease, whether it's a mental health and mental health depression, anxiety, whatever. So I categorize everyone, and then I look at, at look at the like a content one by one. Actually, I I look at the the all the patterns content, and then and then try to find out the good inside of uh, the, what what the actual innovation supporting this kind of DTX uh, technology and DTX product. So this is what one example that I want try to understand what is the behind the innovation because uh, you cannot get this information in in you know like a website or not. Uh, maybe some some actually the research paper you can get inside, but the best the reference to get this like uh, what is the innovation behind some specific product is a patent and and to let you know that I'm a patent attorney also. So uh, I look at this one and then I've intensely experienced this kind of work whenever I, I'm working in the emerging technology for 30 years. When then whenever I look at the like uh, all kind of different technology, then I first look at the, the what the patent landscape and what kind of like uh, the innovation is going on through this patent information. So this is very familiar to me. So uh, I uh, look at the, and then I try to uh, like uh, generate that to what kind of innovation can support this this specific product. And another thing that I I, I this is one I, I started actually I have a manuscript already maybe maybe uh maybe four to five months ago actually I already done and then there was like uh, about four hundred page manuscript actually the the from my analysis of pattern actually that I, I capitalize in different innovation like uh, whether it's a cognitive health and neurological health and and then categorize them and then based on this uh, pattern information that actually that I try to provide some handbook innovation guidebook and I provide some uh, work and then publish it but this is the complete one but I I, I found it existed quite a lot of the time and effort so I I I part I partly published one as a book chapter, but uh this is about I'm thinking about it like a list like a two hundred or three hundred page book. So it, I want to be have to like a uh, newcomers or some of the like existing company like a Palmer Flicker or the other like a uh, research institution. It, this can be a good guide. So this is one that this is with the, one of the my main effort during the summer that finish up this book. And this is one actually that uh, see that what kind of business model actually the, the two get the go to market usually uh, some of the like uh, companies is working with uh, like pharmaceuticals, but not many. So you can see that uh, some of the like, uh, for example, actually working in, in, in Japan and and then some of the like, uh, I, I found that uh, Otuska is very active. Then I found the pat their patterns and their collaboration in Sanofi, and and then uh, Novartis uh, was that. Uh, also, I found that other other that uh, Pfizer and other uh, the pharmaceuticals that I because uh, this is not complete, but but I think that the, I I just look at the almost that I will reference and the famous one. But uh, there are there are many uh, several actually the more additional more collaboration is going on, and another collaboration is to collaborate with the Crini. So the some companies actually the working with the the Crini. Usually, what what I found that the most active the Crini to collaborate in in DTEC startups are Mayo Crini and John Hopkins and Mass General and. Yeah, that's that kind of comp that kind of hospital and then other that I'm familiar with the, the UK hospital, but I, just, I found some UK hospital and Canadian hospital, usually the McGill University and other comp other uni uh, other uh, medical institution and hospital actually the collaborate in this space. And this is one actually that I, I really interested in. Uh, for based on my analysis, actually, I look at the the what the current situation, right? Uh, 
Uh, this is the most recent one. You can see that uh, PO Therapeutics bankrupt. Better Therapeutics is uh, have been IPO but have a problem in the financially, so they they delisted from the Nasdaq, and and then for example, Atlee, they first they started from the prescription DTX, and then they changed it to the over the count model to like a B two C model, and then and then. And then not generate much revenue to keep as an IPO company, and recently announced as going to be acquired by the virtual therapeutics. But the, you see the valuation thirty four million is very low. Right? And Artai Life Science something later I have IPO and then they're losing. And and I I I tried to find out the who what company actually to generate in this space. I I found very few. Right, maybe some companies are not. Not necessarily disclosed. They are they are private company, not in the public domain. That it's very difficult to get the like the revenue information. But um, but I I found that this this space is very difficult to generate, especially sustainable, like revenue generation is a key topic, right? So I just look at the the uh even even we know that healthcare system is very complex. And then monetization and commercialization, especially the commerce monetization process is very complex because of the different market dynamic in the healthcare system, the uh, difference between the payer and the users and something like there are many characteristics that particularly for the healthcare system, even with that, I, I find that this is very particular because uh, there are only few IPO case and the, then most of them are pioneer and then had almost all. Uh, I, I found another company actually that uh, I didn't see any like financial from the Dario uh, has. I found that they, they are in Nasdaq, right? And then I, I have their profile and then I, I found that they have, they don't have anything that up to now to disclose. But I, I found why, because the, uh, the one thing that actually I look at the, the market adoption and reimbursements, usually the, in the US market, reimbursements is a big topic to, to think about it. And, and then cost management is a big thing. And regulatory and sustainable investment is, a, and then scalability integration or something like that. So um, I just started looking at the, my own solution for this because uh, um. I just think about is that uh, this is my honest like uh, feeling, something like that, because um uh, because I have been thirty years in high tech industry and looking at the older like emerging technology, well known, you know about starting from the semiconductors, electronics, and and software, telecommunication, and recently about all digital technology, AI, blockchain, IoT, or whatever. And then, and then I found that this kind of like all pioneers after IPO has some problem. I think that this is very particularly for this DTX space. So, um, so I I tried to find out the, what one might be the be the solution or something like that. This is my my own. So, the first that I found that first I found was that the pathway. They they're looking at through the the traditional, for example, the past way I have done the peer therapeutics, better therapeutics, and Achille. And what they was actually the they follow traditional pharmaceutical pathway. So um very intensive clinical trials and then clearance like FDA or something, unless because in USA FDA clearance, yeah, in the you know, there are uh, several different, like uh, some, some for example, FDA e make easy for, for digital past technology. So they have a, not just intense, but like a full, like a certification, they have a, like a Denova or the Sati, like a 401k, like a, and another, like, for example, like a innovate, like a device uh, designation or something. They have provided some much easier way compared to the traditional pharmaceutical still require intensive clinical trial and then 
and then pass away through the this kind of FDA approval. And and then for the MER that required a lot of the like time to get the market adoption and the especially the reimbursement because the US healthcare system is also different from the Germany. So usually I found that a lot of the like certified product have a reimbursement in the Germany through Giga, but the situation is different in the United States. So particularly um, I'm thinking about what will be the solution for this, the US startup based in startups. So I, I, I think about is the, my idea is to, we need to think about different pathway, right? And then, and then we need to think about the one way is to, to, to wait, shorten the pathway to compare to the traditional, like a pharmaceutical pathway. And for the product wise to, for the adoption that I found that um, this is very complicated to use because uh, I look at the, their, their patterns and everything. It's, it's it, because uh, this is a good of, of like a motivation. For example, that why you prefer DTEX, for example, is a uh, is uh, like a not interruptive intervention, right? And more engagement, and and then more like a personalized and adaptive. Something you can imagine. Like I I, I found that all those terminologies are very standard. Every pattern talk about their product in in the pattern like like this terminology like is an, an iteration and then real life evidence something like very good, right? But it, they are integrate to get the, like uh, some product and they apply it to the patent, patient and that outcome. But actually the, they are very complex still, right? So so I, I, I found that we need a lot of effort to make a simplify to get the outcome, right? So this is one that I'm, I'm really noticed and when I get really inside about, that's why then I, I'm looking at the like, uh, to to explore this kind of like uh, the innovation handbook and then try to find out the, the best way to innovate and then best way to simplify your innovation with the same outcome, right? So simplify the process, simplify your technology and mostly simplify your product can be used to the end user, right? Whether end users or the stakeholders like uh, medical, professionals or clinical professionals, something like that. So that's one actually that we still require. And then good news that I found that this is very early stage. You see that I only see like a several hundred startups working in here and then not many products yet. And then, but choose the investment and the huge potential, right? So it's a very early stage, have a very promising. So we still have time to to make up that, and that will be a fantastic. And another thing that, um, I to be honest with you, that I never think that the DCX actually the really effective, because so, so um, uh, that's that's the one thing that actually the um, maybe the because usually the it, it, the value of some treatment like a therapeutics it is the is uh, determined by the efficacy and the cost, right? So cost is it looks okay for the for the innovation and then commercialization and then operation wise. But even with that, free that maybe the the stakeholders maybe hesitate to provide the like, insurance inbus because uh, still not proven in the market and in real life whether really they are effective because they have a proof of the efficacy. Even, even they through the like some kind of the, the clinical trials and certification of the FDA, I think that that's not enough yet. So we, we need a more cases actually that can prove in real life that they are actually be effective, right? And, and then there was, I, I found that I will show some like uh, my yellow about uh, some example of the companies, but actually the, there are some companies actually the, to overcome the situation. So they have a diff, the, they have a very clever like a strategy to approach for this kind of the uh, situation. So uh, uh, one example 
was that actually that they want to be hybrid with a traditional drug treatment. I, I saw uh, several companies actually that their, their like uh, DTX is uh, in, in companion to the traditional drug treatment, but in symbiotic. So they can be they can be like uh, synergetically applied. That's one one way. So that's the way actually. Another way that uh is to they want to be under like a more general uh platform or service means that uh all of the details details are hidden, and and then most of the their service is uh is a uh, is a uh, directly like uh front wise to the customers or the professionals. That actually the day just looking at the, the service very easily through this kind of like a front end side of the service and platform, and then behind it actually the operating their DTX. That company actually the generate revenue through this general generalized service and platform, but actually the behind they also have a DTX uh, the, as an integral part of it. So that's the one that I found that the different strategy you can look at it, and. The appendix, actually, that I generate this one, I, I post in my LinkedIn profile. A lot of people are like that. But yeah, this is one actually that I make is a visualized as, as a, uh, this is one catalyzed every uh, stakeholders in DTEC startup. And this is the one I, I just generally for the, like uh, the investors, where they invest. So this is the one idea that I, I'm going to make more that or like a uh, way to write down to the analysis that actually the, to get the strategy, like uh, what kind of like uh, the fundraising strategy, what kind of the investors are interested in which part and then in which part of the fundraising stage, what would be the best strategy or something like that. That's, that'll be the, my effort will be going from now on. Okay. Um, okay, so I thought basically that I prepare for the presentation. Okay, so and and I'll show you uh because uh, this is core for the like uh, if you are the company that listed in my 198 year level, and then I recommend that if you request me, I will send you the the my like a uh, manuscript for your company, and then you can leave you. I I up to now uh only four startup actually review my content and provide some comment and so so this is for folks that I'm, I'm going to share this one because it's not ready for this course but i'm going to be updated and then i'm going to be like once i have a full reply and then i think that is make sure that it is complete then going to disclose some way okay uh so i will share that book First, we get it. Okay. So, um, I think that you can see that what the contents looks like. Okay, so this is my uh startup yellow book. So uh, this is not that fully actually the finish. Eh? So, but I actually I uh, you see that this here is a one hundred and ninety eight startups. Okay, so so I already share the each company, right? So here is every company here. And then, for example, tomorrow, the the fortunately CEO of tomorrow actually the the contact me, and then I provide this manuscript, and then and then we, we I already got the feedback, so um so I just company overview of, uh, and then website information, and product, and technology innovation. And and then unfortunately I couldn't find any pattern, but actually some company have a pattern. I list up the pattern information here, and investment, and then if 
the investors uh, provide. I put in here like SBI for the all estates global US government funding, something like that. And then and then I, I provide the key executive and LinkedIn profile, link and revenue market and clinical trials and certification. So for example, that uh, I have everyone here. So here is a good case, like uh, Abbe's Labs. But actually, the, it, it is acquired by IER. So uh, one particular thing that actually the, I, I noticed was uh, some dynamic space in Stratum. So I, I found uh, several cases of the acquisition. So acquisition style is uh, somewhat diverse. So I, I found that the acquisition between two startups, right? So that's that's one I found that. Another way is acquired by the big big company, like uh, not in the DTX. And then another another was like uh, the acquired by the DTX big startup by the small startup, something like that. So it's kind of like uh, acquisition by a big start DTX stuff by by, and it was like a the mods between two and then acquired by the, the company in IPO, for example, Dario Health. And then the company actually the, have a different, uh, like a business model in healthcare, but they acquire DTX as a portfolio of them, right? So I, I found that one. So, so here is a, some example you can see there, right? So, so I provide everything here. And then all the like a clinical and certification, whether it's a DIGA, FDA, and initial. So, so what you have seen before about my analysis is based on this one. So this includes everything for each 198 company you can see. Okay. Okay, so I done. So uh it's good time to maybe you have a question. Or so you, if you have any comment or share your idea or insight, I welcome. So this is with the, just the free time uh, for maybe 10 or more, uh, 15 minutes to, or you can chat over anything. And then because I, my analysis is still going on and then I'm going to have a feedback and then also like uh, make up my book and other other things. So once done, actually, I'm going to disclose uh, the full analysis and then each book, I'm, I'm thinking about the best, what's the best way to like disclose them. And, but I, what I want to is uh, reach to the, the broad stakeholders to make them interested in DTX space. And then, and then particularly I'm interested in that because I, I stopped to innovate more, but I, what I, from through this one, actually that I tried my innovation was to I try to make a very simple tool through to like a DTX innovator, something like that. And then and then provide the information like all the pattern information that I have it and then product information and utilizing large range model. And then and you have uh, some idea and then you can test it and then it will provide uh, like all the like procedure of the, the, the all through the procedure of the POC or whatever. And then they provide some some like conceptualized innovation in DTX. Actually, that I had a mind and then I worked with some guys. I tried, but recently I I completely out of time to that. But I'm interested in the space of surf. So if you are you're interested in collaborating with me, that make a simple innovation tool. Because my motivation is that because I've talked with a lot of the healthcare guys, particularly my family member, my daughter and and my son-in-law are all in health gear. Uh, and then in the pharmaceutical and medical device and medical school or something like that. And so so I I because I started this one eight months ago by some reason. And then I, I share my idea that, oh, this is very interesting topic, but why not it not why not be is difficult, maybe difficult to do something. And then and then and then I talk with uh, many like uh, health professionals, not in seriously in the DTX, but they all talk about oh very interesting in, but uh, they want to be like a simple approach, like a simple tool they can explore if they have an idea. For example, that the the my daughter working in the utilizing AI for the new drug this uh, drug development, and then 
And then they have some new drug development and they think about the treatment. And then and then they and then they want to test like whether as 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 any like a complementary like way to like developing in addition to this. Because this is the idea that the like a like a combined with a traditional drug with the DTX, right? Because I provide already my idea that, for example, what one idea that some of the uh, the startups actually that they talk about like uh, the they uh, the combining like the traditional drug and the DTX, but that's not new idea. Everybody know about it. Some company actually actually implement. Um, but my idea, another thing, maybe the pharmaceutical can involve the big guys are involved. It'll be better situation is to like for example they have like uh, some of the the original drugs and then and then their patent is expired and then it'll be there like their like high premium price will be down because of more general general drug drugs will be into the market like no barrier like that and then they can be like extended their like the ip through the like a companion gtx to be to be linked to their ex patent expired the original drugs. This is one idea that the a lot of the pharmaceuticals. Another idea that uh I have seen like a like a very similar concept like uh, the internet of a medical device. Why the, the internet of like a uh, internet of a DTX device linked to the pharmaceutical drugs, right? That kind of idea that we can we can generate a huge market like for example, every every like uh, drug you can see in the, the pharmaceutical like a uh, the pharmacy, like a CVS or the Walmart, whatever, and then when the once you have a your your drug and then you scan your barcode, right? The and then and then it'll be linked to the some some way to like a DTX, and then it'll be it'll be provided like a, depending on the, your symptoms and the, your drug treatment. Actually, they provide a complementary recommendation or something like that. This is just the idea, but there are many ways actually that can can expand this market. And that's one I'm, I'm really interested in. So if you are also interested in the expanding scale over, like a scale of this DTX industry based on completely different idea approach, then I welcome and I'd like to leverage with you. Um, okay, so I will look at the, uh, oh, okay. So I will just look at the chat. Cardiovascular, yeah, cardiovascular, is included in in chronic, so uh, I I included in the chronic disease. So majority of the the chronic condition targeting chronic condition detects are late diabetes and high blood pressure, like hypertension, but some actually the cardiovascular, and and then directly related cardiovascular is related like uh, uh, metabolism, right? But another thing that the indirectly related to cardiovascular is to neurology. So in the neurological, there is a, like a lot of the thing was a cardiovascular leading to like a, a problem with the broader stream. And then it, it can be like hot stroke. And then it can be in like a, the, the end up being your, your problem in your, in your, in the brain. And then there is a, like a neural uh, uh, rehabilitation the DTX are uh, a better, I found the several DTX start but already have a product. Okay, so, uh, clinical implementation for veterans to get the uh, attention. Yes, yeah, that's true. That's true, because, uh, you know that recently I talked with the uh, several people actually that contact me, and then and then they share their idea, and then they ask about the, whether they can have a fun. <laughs> so so uh, yeah, that's one because uh, uh okay so I will I will tell you because I have a uh, ten minutes more so I will share my my story is uh, the reason that the starting point that I before this this event actually that I have nothing. Nothing to do with the DTX or or some part of the digital digital health because uh, I I was in the the in the like a digital technology so I know about the wearable device or internet of thing they can be applied in the the healthcare and also I working in the AI 
utilizing healthcare, but they are not not treatment like the healthcare for, for example, in the like a uh, like uh, AI for the operation and treatment in some way, right? But the the critical point that I interesting was to like uh, some the Korean startup the and then I met her the CEO was uh was he was uh the the some researcher in in Harvard Medical School and Mass General. And then and we met in the some some innovation community meeting, and then and then and then I I was a uh, because uh, someone actually the someone introduced me to her because uh, he is also a lawyer I'm also a lawyer but I'm more the uh, more innovative but when uh, he is a traditional lawyer but he he he, the, he introduced me to her because uh, he spoke with her and then he, then he recognized that the the more technical the discussions is required, so he interests me, and then and talk to each other, and then I uh, fascinating because uh, what she was doing was to like uh, utilizing metaverse like uh, Excel, like a uh, virtual reality, whatever, and then utilizing some brain scanning device. So usually they call uh, F uh, usually fMRI, and then particularly they're interested in utilizing. A near infrared scanner, and then and then and then want to develop in the portable way, so so they can measure brain activity through in through even in the, the activity. So human can move around the where the like a like infrared scanner and the major activity of the brain, some particular part, kinopropsy or whatever. I'm not a <laughs> like an expert in in the neuroscience, but I know about some part of the brain to their memory and location. And they have some particular parts. So, so whether depending on whether it's Alzheimer or whether it's a Parkinson or whatever, right? Depending on, so they know about the, which part of the brain will be affected. So the, the method was to like uh, stimulate, stimuli is usually the virtual reality content. And then, and then, and then uh, stimuli some, some specific function, like uh, it's a memory function or the location finding function, whatever. And then and then and then apply that and then and then throw the scanner, try to find out the which part is affected. And then after that, actually, the they provide the treatment, like adjust based on the personalization, and then provide the like a feed into the new content, and then retread and then look at the scanner and whether find out whether there was actual the like uh, outcome actually can affect what not. The procedure was simple. And then I can understand, and they they analyze the the outcome using the AI, older AI. I'm very familiar. So, okay, so what's your status? They find a patent, and they got the grant from the Korean government. So they have some pilot, and some kind of like uh, some love call from the like a Seoul University Medical Center. It's a, the biggest like a medical center in South Korea, very similar to Mass General and Johns Hopkins in the United States. And, and then so they they want to be applying their, their, their like a diagnostic and treatment in the Alzheimer clinic in, in, in the Seoul National University Hospital. So very, very good. And then ask about, they are looking for some fund to like a support for enable this happen. And then, I ask about how much? It's a 10 million. Why? <laughs> how? But have you ever been in the fundraising state? None. <laughs> they only offer it with the Korean government, like a fund. And then, so, okay. But anyway, I'm very interested in So I would try, I try to, to meet with the investor and then explain the situation because I just think about, uh, I've been a lot of experience in other areas, like, for example, like a digital like uh, the product or wearable device and other high tech area, I'm very familiar with fundraising. And so I have to think about the similar process, right? I'm gonna contact the investor. This is uh, like a prototype. They they have a prototype already. Nobody uh, said yes, but everybody said no. <laughs> so, so, so I ask about, okay, so investor want this information. Investor want this information. Investor want this information because at the time I I I, I didn't have any like knowledge about DTX. So I just uh, depending on the seer, and then I talk with the investor. Investor want this one, this one, this one, this one. Can you provide provide? <laughs> and then she didn't reply. 
right? <laughs> right? So uh, that's motivated. I really want to understand this space, right? That's a starting point nine months ago, right? So that's a good question, yeah. So to get the phone in DTX require more. Okay, so is anyone wanna share yours? <laughs> Anyone? Um, I just wanted to, to thank you for uh, this great job. It's formidable and comprehensive. Like a, uh, I'm from OptHealth and looking at the information that you collected, it's not going to be easy to find it in one place. So I really appreciate all the hard work that you put in this. I uh, just wanted to say that. Thank you. So I, I just to call for the founders or as a key executive, please look at it. Because my my intention is to to dis disclose, to distribute this my outcome to broadly, right? To make a community, right? And then another idea that I'm thinking about is to, because uh, here is another the speaker that I invite on the September. I have another event in September. We are going to talk about the technology convergence for the healthcare innovation in life science. And I'm going to share the session about, the, and I designed the session about the AI, XR, Web3 power, digital health revolution. And one of the content that I'm interested in is to utilizing Web3, right? The Web3 DAO, decentralized autonomous organization, because that's the one I created really have a powerful tool to propagate. Right, because uh, because uh, I'm, I'm still have a uh, very early stage of the like uh, brainstorming, but I'm I'm really thinking about is the how to make this DTX and the digital healthcare people the because I'm I'm interested because uh, you know that I'm I already involved in endeavor nine months. Based on my thirty experience, I want to be make this as a really industry, DTX, right, and then I want to be. One of the part of the mainstream, right? And then, and then I have a lot of the strategy that I've learned from other industry that try to apply this one. And one idea is to how to actually can adopt this one broadly, right? And then, and then that's what I'm thinking about is to the the for me to easier and more flexible way to make a decentralized autonomous organization for. DTX or digital health community, right? It will be it will be automatically like a launch role, and the community will be grow, and then it will be like a self like organized, and then it will be launch role like uh, for example like what they call token economy. So there will be the all kind of the benefit will be here. So this is one thing I'm thinking about. It. So this topic also I'm I'm, I'm looking for uh, this, today actually I. I tried to find a good speaker for the, the September event, but actually the, my motivation is to really want to this DTX and data health as a mainstream of the healthcare. And one of the, the effort that I can do is to utilizing my previous experience to make a scale of some industry, utilizing the blockchain Web3 technology to be more inclusive to the more stakeholders. So if you are interested in that topic, Welcome to contact me. Yeah. Um, just the one question: How how can we get the book uh, to provide feedback? Oh, um, okay. So, uh, if you are the because you are the one of the the company that listed, yeah. And then I will I will share the first. I will share the each companies right for years only, and the once yeah. I get once I get all the feedback, then I'm thinking about what's the best way to share because. Uh, because I want to be shared more like a more impactful way, right? Yeah. So, so, so a first thing is to I want to share with all the stakeholders. For example, the T at least you are the founder or the the entrepreneur in DTX. I'm going to share freely. Right? Oh, that's fantastic. Just send um, um, our section to me so I can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. So okay. just so just to let me know where your contact point or whatever. Then I can see that. The, what you have to write down in the uh, the chat, so it will be recorded. So um, 
just let me know that you want that and then I will share you. And then I just, I just yeah. put my yeah, I think the know. easiest way is to I, I'm very actively working in the LinkedIn. So the just you know about my LinkedIn. You maybe you and the the connection. Yeah. So just to let me know about it. Because uh, I, I really welcome because I have a lot of ideas to want to share. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah. So I, have I to jump, I all... but thank you very much again. Yeah, yeah. So just to share whatever you have. Okay, so it's time. So thank you for attending today's webinar. So I hopefully I'm going to uh, to have organized another webinar and then and hopefully I have a big event on September. So please uh, keep in touch and then look at my LinkedIn profile that you will have a lot of information they're looking for. Okay, thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.